80% people left CP and in the fourth term no one was doing CP. Yeah. वो भी बिना रेफरल के कि नो मैन आई विल नेवर एवर गेट फ्रॉम अ रिप्लाई देयर सो आई थिंक हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे सेशन इज खुशबू विद खुशबू ओके हेलो एवरीवन सो एज आई टोल्ड यू वी हैव खुशबू दी विद अस एंड थैंक्स अ लॉट दी फॉर जॉइनिंग अस एंड हाउ आर यू फीलिंग टुडे Hi Kushu you are sharing same name with me yeah. yeah I'm feeling good so can you give us a brief introduction about yourself yeah sure hi everyone uh, I'm Kushu Gupta I completed my graduation from Shri Mata Vaishno Devi University in 2018 and I joined Google in the September 2019 this is my first job I think I have completed almost one year at Google Yeah, it has been a really, really great journey and learning a lot. Yeah, that's it. That's great. So the uh, uh, firstly, when I got to know you, I read a article that was written by you. So that was about your Google journey. So everyone, if you want to read that article, I will link it down in the description below. You can check that out. That's an amazing article and it's so inspirational. Thank you so much. So, so uh, I got to know that uh, after your placements were or taking place, all the things. So you decided to just sit back and prepare uh, well for DSA, and then you just ended up in Google. So how was all the experience? How was the journey? What were all the difficulties? Because I know it will be challenging for you to see like your all the uh, all the classmates were getting placed, whereas you were just sitting. Oh, was it challenging? And how was that? uh yes it was really i think i was not having you can say good mind uh, or positive vibes that time in the my fourth year i was not any i was not having any hope i i, I wasn't sure like what to do in the life but you know one thing that uh the company that came in my campus in college that i don't want to stop there okay like you know your interest like that doesn't match with your interest so i knew this but i don't know what to do if i don't take a job and i also didn't apply for the off campus that time because i don't know what i am going to do in my life okay i only knew one thing that cp is my strong point and i want to do something good in cp like want to achieve some good rank but uh, like uh, uh, i spent uh, almost 2 to 3 years in my college doing cp and in the fourth year i really did cp like in the 8th semester it is especially because i got demotivated it happens with everyone mm-hmm. and you got negative vibes right yeah so yeah i was not having good state of mind you can say that so uh, yeah it and everyone is getting placed in good companies and also in college that was like you see that your friends are going uh, at, like doing really good and you are not doing anything you are just sitting at home then after college i decided to take 6 month break because when you spend some time with family you feel good you you will get the same energy that and you will you will get some motivation also right yeah so i took 6 month break and totally spent with my family just chilled just did nothing just spent with my family we shifted to new city and did and also went to visit many places there also yeah. just yeah and like in that i completed graduation 2018 and like in the may around may so mm-hmm. i spent almost december 2018 doing nothing mm-hmm. then yeah i decided to do cp again because i knew that this is my strong point i don't know like if i can get a job uh, because of this or not but i know one thing i knew one thing that this is my strong point and i want to do this like if you feel something from inside you that you want to do it and you believe that you can do really good in that yeah makes so sense. i was yes I so after 6 months break uh, like uh, i totally st- i started doing computer programming cp is the short form it, yeah because many people <laughs> don't know about this so i started doing cp with full dedication like i was giving almost 8 to 10 hours daily sometimes i was de- giving 12 to 16 hours also <laughs> because uh i almost took one year's break i didn't do cp in yeah. 2018 so 
it was like you have to gain like yeah again you thing. have redo everything because you have to revise yes everything. you have to revise and you have to learn everything again yeah so, so it takes some time and to get that confidence again mm-hmm. so i spent a uh, lots of time doing cp but this time i was really motivated because and i was having really good positive vibes and sometimes like i started in january but i didn't have anything right that time no placement no internship nothing i was not having but there is some like if you are doing hard work so you feel that some some good is going going to happen doesn't matter but it will happen so i was having that feeling from the starting that something good is going to come up and yeah so i started when we don't have anything we usually feel like uh, nothing good is going to happen and yes only bad things are going to happen we usually yes. feel that way but that's really good thing like you were getting positive vibes from the starting and i think yeah it uh, it came because of six month break <laughs> i got so much yeah. positive vibes yes and it also like uh, when you see that in your college classmates like everyone like doing something good and you are not you are not sure what to do in your life you just know one thing cp and you don't know like like many people started cp like i have started cp with many people in my class okay and they really helped me a lot but after some time everyone almost left cp no one was doing cp around me so i thought this is not good for me i am doing something wrong so you feel demotivated basically yeah. you don't know what to do so i think break is really important to know like what do you really want to do in your life yeah actually like uh, this is so inspiring because like if there are some people who are watching this video and they haven't got any placements because this is the placement season right now like it is very high time right. for placements and uh, very hectic i have some seniors like which get very demotivated to uh, think that uh even uh, like very uh, basic companies are not hiring them so i always say them like they are for big companies but it, you know it's like there is a feeling like i maybe i have done something wrong that's why they are not hiring me so it's really good to listen to this like we should need, we should take a break and we should uh, don't settle for the like less and we should know our you know worth you knew that you are good in cp so you tried it and you did it like at last like i always believe in one thing like if you don't know what to do just keep trying you will definitely find to the right part also uh, the as like you were in dietary college and there was not very much you know environment for the competitive so how did you manage to like uh, keep your pace up because Uh, it gets decouraging with time because you see other people like they will start doing random things like they will start doing web making websites and they will or either they will be just enjoying everything and you will feel like maybe i can do the same thing they are doing and uh, it is a very uh, loop it is a confusing loop right it keeps on going on so how did you manage that and what will you so, give advice to the like college students right now because you have right. faced that so normally in the first year what happens like everyone is very very enthusiastic like everyone want to do everything i also don't know i also didn't know about cp before college right mm-hmm. so i got to know about cp in my college like you can say i was having really some good seniors and some good classmates mm-hmm. that really that introduced me the competitive programming and really helped me cp in the beginning really really and i am really really thankful to them always okay so like i also tried web designing machine learning because you don't know what is your interest until you try yeah. right yeah so yeah i will not say if some if someone's interest doesn't match with me he is not going to doing good or she is not doing good or if i am not doing good you cannot say you cannot judge anyone because just because your interest are not matching with them right yeah yeah so yeah so you just believe in yourself so i find out my interest like i just love cp so yeah initially in the beginning my classmate really helped me we participated in the acm icpc so like in i think many people started doing cp in the first year but the craze started going down from the yeah. second year like almost 80% people left cp and in the fourth year no one was doing cp around me mm-hmm. okay so yeah it was going demotivating and you know that you know only this thing 
like mm. everyone else was also doing other things also but you were not doing anything apart from this mm-hmm. like this was that is that was a mistake that i made in my college i can say i just focus on only one thing but uh, like i think you should also do some good projects that you should learn skills also yeah so i did that mistake and i regret that mistake mistake even though i selected in google but i regret it it was not a good decision you should also work on some you should also develop some good skills right okay. by doing some project so the craze was going down for the cp then you you basically then you that was the actual time that when you start feeling demotivating because everyone left so you feel that was the time when then everyone decided that cp is not their interest <laughs> but cp is your interest right and then you started feeling that you are doing something wrong when you are doing something alone so you always feel that you are doing something wrong and everyone got some good internship and good placements so yeah that was basically happened with me in the fourth year i really, really in the eighth semester i really felt like i don't know what to do yeah that was demotivating but i know how to solve this i knew that i just want to go home and want to take some break then we'll decide what to do in life yeah. and it really i think yeah so yeah. when you i think my advice is if you not able to understand like if you ever feel demotivated mm-hmm. just take some like in the normal routine also just take 2 to 3 day uh, days break if you are not able to understand and just do nothing mm-hmm. then the positive energy will you gain will on will be on another level yeah. and you can fully dedicate yourself on the thing that you want to work on i think yeah that's a great advice thanks a lot also i would like to know that uh, after you were preparing for like in your break time you were preparing for your cp you were sharpening your skills after break yeah so uh, how did you like approach google or google approach you matlab what was the process <laughs> no. okay so in the january after 6 month break uh, in the 2019 uh, january i started doing cp okay uh, so i was not having any group so i contacted people online like uh, when you are not able to solve a problem you just message people on the like code forces yeah. or any 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 platform like i am not able to solve how did you solve it right you can easily find the first so yeah that's how i think i made some good friends also there and learned cp with them yeah so in in from this uh, february or is in the ending january i started applying for the company because you also need a good job yeah. right so i started applying i think i applied for almost all the companies okay. <laughs> all the startups and everything whatever i can find out <laughs> i applied everywhere and my resume was not getting selected not even at one company or one startup mm-hmm. yeah but yeah i didn't feel demotivated that time to be honest <laughs> because i just started i i was prepared for 2 to 3 years struggle to be honest like i was totally prepared by my mind that i have to struggle for 2 to 3 years for job, for a good job so yeah this was just a one to two month i was not having yeah so and i also like i also participated in the hacker arts company call challenges if you know okay, like yeah. they, are, they are having ds and algo right yeah. so i i think in that i solved all the questions but still my resume didn't get selected i think <laughs> because i was not having good skills to you know yeah okay. apart from ds and algo Mm-hmm. so i was just applying at random so in the april mm-hmm. randomly i saw the software engineer post at google i was searching okay so i just applied there without having any expectations <laughs> okay yeah. without really i didn't expect anything mm-hmm. ki i will ever get the reply wo bhi bina referral ke ki no man <laughs> i will never ever get from a reply there so i just applied and that leave it okay yeah i wanted of course everyone wanted as well but yeah mm-hmm. you when your resume was not getting selected you don't expect anything yeah, yeah so that happens so like after 3 uh, to 4 days i got the reply oh, <laughs> that they shortlisted so my resume quick. that's so quick yes i also couldn't believe it how did it happen <laughs> yeah that was very exciting and i realized that this this is the one golden opportunity to prove yeah. myself yeah this is the only i think only one opportunity i didn't have any other opportunity mm-hmm. this is the only one opportunity to prove myself yeah, yeah. my i will not say my resume was good 
because only for selector at one place <laughs> yeah but luckily i can say luckily my resume got reviewed because there are many applications right mm -hmm. so luckily my resume got reviewed and the recruiter uh, thought to give me one chance so he contacted me yeah for the interview like uh, they shortlisted my resume uh, for the interview so yeah. that's how my interview process started <laughs> that's so great and you know it's it's just inspiring that how this journey goes and it's also tell us that everyone have a different journey because a lot of people that are in google are a lot of people think that if they don't get in such programs like that are from google like gsoc or uh, women technicals or something these programs or they don't give kick start they will not be able to get in google but that don't happen google just wants like a real talent and they just don't care if you have done some some specific things or not they want to see like your whole journey and if you are able to like solve problems on this so that's like really crazy and yeah. so i think the three major things that we can take away from your journey is like first thing is it don't matter like uh, how much time you have taken like it don't matter like if you are in fourth year and if you haven't got placed or if you are uh, like in second year and you can just start where you yes. are right now and you can never compare yourself with your other peer because like that's a different journey altogether you know and everyone is having yeah yeah and the second thing the greatest tip you did was to, uh, we should explore so that we can have a uh, multiple skills we can have a, like we can be a king of uh, something where we should be like jack of some other things also so that can be a great plus point to our skill set and yes. and the third thing is to like never feel demotivated and like uh, you know believing in yourself because uh, most people i see are the, those like who get really demotivated and take it very uh, like on heart if they get rejected somewhere whereas in your case it was so inspiring that you think like okay i can uh, uh, i can take a break and it will be like uh, i i just want it for my happiness and i will take a break and i will resume it and you were well prepared that okay if i will take a break maybe it will take me 2 3 years also but you yes, uh, yes. you didn't stop you keep trying you didn't get uh, feel demotivated and that the main thing you know if you don't uh, stop you will get somewhere and that's yes and i will not say like if you are not able to go to into google this is yeah. not the life okay life is so much and everything you are doing is good explore everything if you want to do uh, work in some startup that is also really good if you want to some work in some your college companies that is also really everything is good it depends on you like what you find interesting for you yeah i think definitely and uh, i think uh, developing skills matters most like having the skills and having knowledge matters the most rather than having anything else that's what i always feel <laughs> that's great she but if you have still have any tips for like a college student so whenever you get a opportunity try to give your best as you can don't take it lightly yeah that's that is that is my advice thanks a lot d for uh, thanks a lot d for being here and giving us so many advices and just inspiring us because your journey is really inspiring and and yeah thanks a lot thank you kushu <laughs> okay everyone uh, i will see you next time and if you have any questions for her you can just uh comment down below and i will be happy to share them all with her and i will see you all next time bye hi hi everyone so today we have kushboo with kushboo hello everyone so today's session is kushboo with kushboo so today we have kushboo if there is any problem i will edit out everything <laughs> oh thanks <laughs> yeah should we start mm -hmm. yeah. yeah you can carry so, on <laughs> no problem so yeah